Hall H is one of a kind. We hadn't been in a couple of years. I'm exhausted from it, frankly. But uh, it was particularly special this year because for the first time, it's been five years since we've announced a big slate. We haven't been talking about anything we've been working on. My standard answer to what's next for almost three years has been, we're not talking about anything until after Avengers Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home come out. Today was the day that we got to go through 10 things, not just new feature films, but for the first time, these incredible mega event series we're getting to do on Disney+. Plus. We talked about Black Widow. We talked about the Eternals, this giant new film we're doing with all new heroes and all new characters. We talked about the Falcon Winter Soldier mega series coming to Disney+. Plus. We talked about WandaVision, the great series coming to Disney+. Plus. We talked about What If, the first animated series ever for Marvel Studios. We introduced Jeffrey Wright as the, uh, as the voice of the Watcher. On the WandaVision panel, we brought Tiana Paris as the adult Monica Rambeau, who was a little girl you met earlier this year in Captain Marvel. We talked about the new Thor movie, Thor Love and Thunder. We talked about the new Doctor Strange movie, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, and a ton of stuff. We always like to have a little surprise. And the panel was full of surprises, but at the very end, we decided to do one more surprise, and incredibly, two-time Academy Award winner Mahershala Ali stepped out on stage. We were all wearing our widow hats that we got when we debuted Amazing Widow footage. He brought his own hat, and he put it on, and it said Blade, and revealed that he's now playing Blade in the MCU. It's incredible. You know, we started the panel. We started the panel thanking all those people in Hall H, the history of the MCU, the history of our 23-movie Infinity Saga, which is now complete starts and ends right there in Hall H, from Iron Man 1 all the way to today. So it was important that we unveiled it here.